Hi everyone, welcome back. It looks like this is going to be a drawing demonstration, doesn't it? Um, I'm sorry to disappoint you if that's what you thought it was, but it's going to be something else instead. Right, so what's been happening is I've got a few subscribers that um, you know are keen pencil collectors. Um, that you know lovers of fine pencils. They have vintage pencils, the latest pencils. They know all about pencils. So I've been watching a lot of their videos, um, you know, quite interesting actually. Um, yeah, they really do know the stuff. Um, and there's one name that keeps popping up time and time again amongst all their videos and all, all of the collectors. And it's this one. It's the Dixon Ticonderoga. Um, it's an HB pencil, or number two pencil. If you're in America or Canada, You'll probably know all about these, but over here in the UK, um, you know, they're not so well known. Um, so I thought, okay, after watching all these videos and people saying, you know, that these are really good pencils and everything, I thought, I'll see if I can find some, see if I can get some. So I went on eBay, and fortunately, there were, there's a few sellers um, on eBay UK that are actually selling these. So I bought myself a box of them. They come in boxes of um, 12 or more and the first thing I noticed was it says on the box there where it says Ticonderoga at the top there 12 number 2 or HB pencils the world's best pencil okay now that's a that's a bold statement to make isn't it um, okay so we'll, we'll go with that then for now and it goes on to say premium wood latex free eraser Turn the box over, certified non-toxic, um, easy, you know, smooth, easy handwriting. So it's, it, you know, it's, it ticks all the boxes, doesn't it? Um, made in Mexico. Apparently, um, Dixon are an American company, but they stopped making pencils in America. I think it was about 2000 or something like that, early 2000 anyway, um, and they switched production over to Mexico and China. Um, but apparently the, 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 um, the graphite that's in the pencils is mined all at the same place, so wherever they're made it's, it's basically the same quality pencil, so it doesn't really matter where you get them from, apparently. Um, <clears throat> I've, I've heard some people say that you know, the quality has dropped a little bit, but I mean, I, I don't know. So anyway, I opened the box, got one out, um, because they, they don't come ready sharp and do anything, they, you know, they come like that. So I took one out of the box, sharpened it, and sharpened it fine, and I thought, okay, the world's best pencil, eh? we'll soon see about that. You know, <laughs> I mean, that, that really is, you know, a big claim to make, isn't it? I mean, it's going to be hard for me to dispute it either and, until I've actually tested every pencil in the world, which is probably not going to happen. I mean, I'm getting through a few, believe me, but, you know, I'm nowhere close to uh, every pencil in the world yet. So... I thought what I'd do, I'd do a series of tests and I'll compare it to um, one of my Derwent pencils. Um, now don't get me started on Derwent pencils, you know I love them and I could talk about them for hours and to me they're the best pencils in the world. So when I bought this pencil I thought okay, it's, it's not classed as an art pencil or an artist's quality pencil, it's classed as a school pencil or an office pencil. Um, and I was always led to believe as well, anything with a rubber tip on the end um, is basically that, you know, an office pencil or school pencil. So, okay, so I put it to the test. I'll just get my sketch book. So I've done a few, you know, quick tests with it. I've, I've done a few sketches with it as well, um, a little bit of doodling and handwriting and everything. And the top one, I don't know if you can see that. If I bring that a bit closer there, the top one is a Dixon Ticonderoga, those three, and the bottom one is a Derwent Graphic. And what I've done, I've just drawn a circle and shaded it in with a highlight, with both pencils, applied the same amount of pressure, and just here I've done the light to dark, to, well the dark to light test in this case, started off dark and gradually got lighter. Uh, the same there, and then I used the eraser on the end to see how well it erased, they both erased equally well. And I'd done a smudge test to see if that smudge and blend nicely. Now, 
when you look at that, can you tell any difference? I can't. Not one bit of difference. Which is strange because Derwent, um, well they're an, they're an artist grade pencil, you know they are a top quality pencil. And they're not cheap, they, you know, individually they cost, you know, if I was to walk into the shop and just buy one on its own, it'd cost me about £1.20, £1.25, something like that. Now, when I bought these, they cost 99p. Not each, for 12. A box of 12 costs 99p. That works out at just over 8 pence, I think I worked it out to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I did actually have shipping to pay on these, which was another ninety-nine pence. Um, so that stands the pencils at about sixteen pence each. But still, if I could walk into a shop and buy them, um, you know, without any shipping, that's roughly what the pencils would cost each: eight pence each, compared to one pound twenty. So looking at this. I can't tell any difference. This pencil is a joy to use. It really, really is. And for 99p for 12, they have, I thought it was gonna to be too good to be true. You know, I thought that this is gonna be rubbish. Making all these big bold claims, the world's best pencil and all, I thought it's gonna be rubbish, but I've gotta try them for myself because everybody is talking about them. So, you know, with all the hype apart, I mean, let's forget the world's best pencil business, but these really are top quality. I mean, I, I'll put them in the artist quality bracket, regardless of whether it's got a rubber tip on it or not, and it's classed as a school pencil or office pencil. It's so smooth, it's like butter when you write with it, or when you draw with it. It does exactly the same um, as the Derwent. Now, I've used a lot of pencils in my time, and Derwent is the one that I've stuck with, obviously, you know, I mean, I use it in all my videos and everything. And, I, and believe me, I've, I've used a lot of brands of pencils, and some of them have been absolutely useless, and they've claimed to be artist quality, and they've been very expensive. And I've had lumps of clay in the end, and they've made them really scratchy, and they're not consistent, and some of them are just awful. But this... I don't know how they can make pencils of this quality for eight pence each. Absolutely incredible. I'm not gonna say it's better than the Derwent. Um, I'm not gonna say it's less than the Derwent. I think, it, you know, considering it's an office pencil, it gives the Derwent a really good run for its money. It's probably, I mean, dare I say it, I mean, it's probably equal to the Derwent. I mean, I can't tell any difference there. You know, when I got these pencils out, I thought, okay, you know, I really don't want to have to say that these are better than Derwent's. What I want to turn around and say is, oh, they're good, but they're not, you know, as good as Derwent's, but they're cheap enough, so, you know, I'll go out and buy a box. But honestly, I have to say they are as good as a Derwent pencil. Absolutely incredible. So, my question is, why are you still watching this video now? Why aren't you on eBay buying yourself some of these? Go on, go and treat yourself. I'll see you later.